Hi, I'm Jeff Snell, Superintendent of Vancouver Public Schools. Education plays a major role in shaping our community. Vancouver has a long history, and at graduation time, we're reminded that today's seniors are tomorrow's history makers. We asked seniors from Columbia River High School about what their education has meant to them. My favorite staff member would probably be Mrs. Johnson. She taught at Jason Lee. She was my leadership teacher as well as a PE teacher for me. Um, she just really was always there for me, kind of wanted me to always like excel, excel and do everything like that. Mr. Cummings, um, he is a math teacher here. He teaches it, uh, freshmen through uh, seniors. Um, he was a really good, he was a really big impact on me. His classroom was like a safe environment. I was TA this semester and last semester um, and he was just really awesome. He was, he gave a lot of good life advice and helped me out with like some things going on at home and just in overall he was just a really great person. Miss Wilson, she was my pottery teacher. Uh, she helped me a lot of with like leadership skills and um, problem solving skills and she, we just, she just, I don't know, she's really cool. I think it was useful how they kind of like showed an even amount of respect to us. It's like in elementary school, we were definitely like we were young, so we were babied. But like once we're getting into high school and stuff like that, we're kind of given more respect. So it's like we're talking less like people who are way above us and more like people we'll meet in the future, like peers and things. Um, they taught me, obviously, don't procrastinate. Always help those around you. Um, those around you are more important at times to help. It helps your character. They told me just to always like go for what I want and do what I want in life, not what everybody else wants. Just focus on yourself, like, you know, you just gotta do you and get yourself to where you need to be. And you know, everyone can catch up or they can slow down at their pace, but you know, just you just gotta do you and you'll get to where you wanna be. I think um, my entire junior year, I would say, I think there was a really great academic comeback from COVID. I, my GPA had really tanked during that time. It was, I just really struggled in school. And I think coming back to um, in-person school, I really thrived. I was able to um, hold a 4.0 GPA the entire year and I was really proud of myself and it kind of showed me that I am capable of, you know, um, coming back and capable of doing a lot of things I didn't think I was able to and recovery and things like that too. So. So I'm in the Diversity and Equity Club and we had a Martin Luther King Assembly and uh, that was really, we had a speaker that was really um, important, that was really cool because we planned a lot for that, it was, um, it was really important. And then definitely just winning state recently here because that was really just exciting. It was good to see it pay off for all my friends and family around. Uh, explore the deepest part of yourself. Like, be um, try to pursue things that you know, like in you, that you just want to excel at. Like, if you want to be good at drawing, get into art. I would say stick to what you know and just be you, um, because you have to be open to change, but you don't change yourself in the process. And you know, you can change your friends, change your environment, but you know, stick to what you know, and you can get through it. Younger students, I would definitely look at them and tell them to don't procrastinate. I procrastinated a lot and it definitely is hard. Doing all your work in one night is not a good idea. I think definitely to um, be friendly with your teachers, get to know your teachers and advocate for yourself. I think self-advocacy and telling the teachers what I need and this is where I'm at so that they understand and try to help you because I think they want to help you but teachers don't know. They have hundreds of students, they don't know when you need help. So I think really advocating for yourself, they really will try to do anything to help you succeed. I want to make music. I'm working on my first EP ever. And I'm not like, a, I'm not like super great at it, but you know, I think, I think I can, I think I'll be able to truly accept it as like, yeah, I, I did pretty good on this. If I want someone to listen to what I made, it's this. So in the fall, I'll be attending Gonzaga University. I'm gonna study human physiology and join their rowing team um, as a division one college athlete. So I'm really excited about that. And I think um, in the next few years, I'm gonna be at my absolute max. I think I'm gonna be the best athlete, um, the best version of myself, doing great academically. I have a lot of big plans for the future. Um, 
because high school has really taught me that I'm capable of so much and more than I even know. And so I'm ready to put that to good use and really shoot for the stars too, so. I wanna be a firefighter and currently steps I'm taking to get there is I'm gonna be taking my EMT classes this summer. I'm gonna be in that until about September. And then after that, I'm hoping to get on at a department in the area. And after that, after the next couple of years, I'm hoping to just stick with that. Um, I'm going to be attending uh, WSU Pullman. I'm going for elementary education, so I hope to be a teacher someday and be able to create an environment like Mr. Cummings did for me, for other students and kids coming in and you know, being able to teach our future generation and you know, do good. <laughs>I'm pretty hopeful. Um, I have like friends and family that I care a lot about and they help me, you know, keep going and stay hopeful when I'm not as hopeful, you know. I'm pretty hopeful. I think I'll do a lot better in college because it's a lot more freeing and I didn't do great with like tons of rules. I never really have. So I think the freedom of college but still having to get stuff done will fit me a lot better. I'm very hopeful for my future. I have a very good support system around me between friends and family. I think that I am going to excel very well in my future and get to where I want. How can you not be inspired by these students? They remind us that our future is in capable hands. Columbia River Class of 2023, we are so proud of you and can't wait to see what you do.